Good morning, yellow, yellow, yellow. I know I'm looking real ashy. But I'm about to do an aloe vera mask. I got this from my poor, pitiful little plant. Let me show you my poor, pitiful aloe vera plant. That I'm just a terrible plant mother. Look at it. Yeah, I see it. That part fell off. This part fell off. And then that part right there, which is a waste. So, I'm like, might as well use it. Because I first got it to be an air purifier for me. Or the start of an air purifier. But then I had it outside for some reason. Forgot why. Had it outside for some reason. Forgot why. Ooh, jeez wheeze. And now it looked like that. So I'm fenced to cut this open. And I'll be right back. I just realized that I say fenced to. What does fenced to even mean? Okay, so since this is so skinty, I think it's gonna let me. Hold on, I'm gonna even need this much. 
So I'll cut it in half. Oh, what is this? Oop. Yeah. Depending on your countertops that you have, do not let your aloe vera get on it. Your fresh aloe vera will stain it unless you clean it up immediately. See, Hannah, I can no longer see. And I did wash it off before I started playing with it. I'm gonna do one side at a time. I'm gonna do one side at a time. Be careful, some people um, don't have weird reactions with the aloe. They do have weird reactions sometimes with the green skin. So if you just need to find you a fatter piece, find you a fatter piece. Or just peel it all the way. They're actually, I don't know if they went up in price, but they usually be really cheap. If you just go to the grocery store, you should get the tall ones for like $2. Not the plant. I'm talking about the individual big leaf. You get it for like $2 sometimes. Mm -hmm. Oops. Aloe vera is so good for so many things. Do not knock the natural remedies. This is so good that they even used it for burn victims and trauma victims because it's been proven scientifically since y'all only wait till science <laughs> says something for y'all to want to believe it. Not all y'all, but some people. You gotta wait for some certain people to acknowledge it before it becomes legit. That's all I'm saying. If you get it, you get it. But, um, yeah, works wonders for antibacterial. I believe it's antifungal as well. So many things to help rejuvenate and balance the skin. If you don't do nothing else for your face, if you don't want to buy none of the hoopla, none of the 10 step programs, we gotta get the piece for the neck. Then get you some aloe. You can never go wrong. Young, old, it don't matter. Get you some aloe. Oh, geez, please. Maybe I should, that's what I should be doing. Instead of rubbing it under my face, because it does itch a little bit right now. So maybe I'm one of them people. <laughs> maybe I'm one of them people that don't need to be having a green part touch their face. I am going to leave this on for 10 minutos. Not dos. Diez minutos. Diez minutos, diez minutos, minutos. This minute, flank. We're gonna leave it on for ten minutes, <laughs> and then I'm gonna rinse it off. I'm gonna rinse it off, and then probably just put some oils on my face, maybe some sunscreen. But I don't know if I plan on going outside today. And I don't really be sitting next to windows. So, I'll see y'all later. So yeah, obviously, I forgot to tell you. I, I came back from the gym. I did a set, three sets of uh, individual single leg quad extensions. The weight was low. 10 pounds. My quads be looking like they can lift something. But when I get on that, that leg extension machine, that quad extension machine, I be looking like, this is it? Is, is it giving Bambi? Just, <laughs> but we all have to start somewhere, okay? And you know, I just got some illusion happening 
but it is what it is. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll talk to y'all later. All right, it's been a little bit more than 10 minutes, but nothing crazy. So let us rinse the face, pat dry the face, apply some lubricant to the face, and then go about our day. And if you don't get all of it off, it's not like big whoop, big deal, honestly. Depending on what you have to do to your face next. So sometimes, depending on what you're going to put on, it can kind of like clump up underneath. So if you're not worried about that, like you're just going to go bare face and it's no problem to have a little shum shum on your face. So let's put some of this. Is there ain't been no rose water? Are you recording? I just want to have to assume that it's recording. Let's put a little bit more. Vera. Not some aloe vera cheeses, some vitamin E oil. <laughs> One drop of tea tree. And some patient black castor oil. Two drops. Mix with. I think I put a little bit too much vitamin E in my hand. But I should get down to the neck. Mm. So I've been breaking out on my neck like crazy. And I don't know what it is. It happens from time to time. And every time it happens, I never know what the heck I was doing beforehand to make it so. Could be eating like trash all the time. <laughs> it's horrible to say. But I do. So, I'm like, was I eating worse trash? Like, what happened? It's not because of my period, because it doesn't happen every period or it doesn't happen every month. But it do be happening sometimes, and it be here. Like, shoot, I got some down, like, here, 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 and all them places. <sighs> but whatever, we're good. Oh, hold on. Can't forget about the lips. I was using this Makeup Revolution. Um, Juicy Pals, all right. We got the job done as you can see. Down there empty. It just wasn't that shiny. Shiny as I wanted it to be. It wasn't even as juiced. You know, but you know, for every day running errands when you don't need your lips to be, I guess, crazy shit popping, you just need a little something something. It works. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot to put my serum on first because that did make me feel a little bit more hydrated yesterday than just the rose water and the oil. I did rose water and I got this serum from my esthetician where I haven't seen it forever but I'm still going to call her my esthetician. Um, and then I put a little bit more rose water and those three oils that I showed you guys. I do not put the tea tree oil combination up under my eyes though. I do not do that unless you want to cry and have burning eyeballs. Don't do that, okay? Um, actually, if, you know, if you don't even got a whole bunch of pimples, you can just put that teacher on one spot. But me, I like to cover all the bases and I put that one drop. 
a tea tree in a mix of different oils as you saw for under my eyes i did a little bit of vitamin e and uh vaseline actually and i mixed that together and dabbed that across my under eye and then the top of the lid because it was dry i felt it it got it caught i said whoo it was like it was dry but yeah i think that's all for real for this segment for this portion of the video <laughs> 